Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be showing you where every single NPC is in the entire game of islands. So I'll be going over the hub, every single island to help you find those NPCs. Since there's like a whole lot, the hub is very overwhelming right now as well. So this is just gonna help you out a lot. But before I start this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell on, and let's get straight into this video. So firstly, we're gonna start off with the hub. So all the NPCs in the hub. Let's start with Ivan the Adventurer. So this is the guy who is basically selling all the slimes, like the slime balls, and he has a bunch of other stuff in there as well. So what you're going to do is I have just loaded in, just visited the hub, and you're going to walk straight towards the statue here. Well, it might not look like DV, but it might be the old statue. Then you're going to turn left a bit. You're not going to keep going through there. You're going to turn this way, head to Dom this event adventurer here and then head to this portal over here you should see this target icon when you see this target icon you know you are getting close and here is Ivan the adventurer so you can view the shops buy arrows sell your slime balls and sell horseradish and acorns and all of your scorps and empty potion bottles so that is Ivan and now we are going to do the baker so I don't really know how to say his name but it's pretty sure it's Peter I'm not sure 100% but I've just loaded back in like I've just reset so I'm at the spawn again right behind the portal and what you're going to do is walk towards the statue again well it might not look like DV but it might be like a statue then you're just gonna turn right sharp right and you should see the baker here so Peter I'm not sure if you say that like that but you should be able to sell all of your cooked items here for some good cash all right now I'm gonna be showing you where to find the totems guys so Arius so what you're going to do is walk all the way to the statue again that's going to be the main part the main area where I'll show you for to go from so when you're at the statue you're going to turn a little bit left so not sharp left just a tiny bit left and you should see the massive totem icon above his head and you should see the totems guy right here Arius and then you can buy all your totems all right so I've just reloaded in and now I'm going to be showing you how to fight John the blocks guy so this one's a bit confusing because he's kind of off a little bit but not really so what you're going to do is walk to the statue again, and then you're going to turn. So basically, you know how you're turning left, but not fully left. You're going to turn right, but not fully left, and you should see a block icon right up there. And you should see right up here, here is John the Blocks guy. So if you talk to him, you can buy grass, you can buy sand, gravel, a bunch of these like caution and checkered tile blocks, and a whole bunch more items. And now I'm going to be showing you on how to find Fluco. So if you need to do some flower quest or get some flower thingy, blah, 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 so I'm going to be showing you on how to get to him. So if you walk straight, you're not going to go to the statue. You're just going to stop around in between from spawn and the statue. Then you're going to turn left and you should see him right here. Florist Fluco right here and you can do all your quests and buy flowers with your flower tokens. So now I'm going to be showing you where to find Talia or Telia. I don't really know the animal person so you can buy the eggs off her and breed up your pets so what you're going to do is not walk straight to the statue you're gonna turn right a sharp right then you're gonna keep going here then when you're at this point turn a little bit left and you should see the animals person right here so Talia is right here you can buy all the eggs you need sell the milk and cheese and honey whatever you need to do all right and now I'm gonna be showing you how to find Jack the mechanic so what you're gonna do is the exact same as the blocks guy person so you're going to walk up to the statue turn a little bit right then you're going to walk up here but you're not gonna walk to the blocks guy you're gonna turn a little left and you should see the mechanic right here you should have a spanner above his head so you can sell your gear boxes buy respawn blocks and you can sell copper bolts and now I'm gonna be showing you on how to find the fisherman so Thomas the fisherman so what you're going to do is go straight to the statue then you are going to after the statue just keep walking straight through the statue you should see this path right here and there should be a sign what says docks follow that sign all the way down to this little shed right here you should see the little fish icon above the fisherman npc and this is how you can sell all the fish what you have caught and get a fair bit of cash from it all right so now i'm going to be showing you where you can sell your crates so at the dom wholesaler so what you're going to do is walk straight to 
the statue. When you're at the statue, turn a little left, go over here, and you should see this little leaf icon, and this is the wholesale dom. So you can sell all your crates what you have created. Kind of funny there, but this is how you can sell all of your crates. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you where you can find Melody. So this one's quite simple. You're just going to see it right there. The icon is right there. So when you're at spawn, you're just going to have to walk forward and turn a little right, and you should see the instrument person right here, and you can claim two free instruments from her. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you where Hannah is, so the pirate captain, so you can get to Pirate Island. Because you might be curious, how do I get to Pirate Island? There's no portal. How do I get there? You can't go from Desert Island to Pirate Island. It doesn't work like that. So what you're going to do is head up to the trophy the, or the statue. It could be changed. Um, since they do change the lobby a lot, then you're going to walk straight through, go head down to the docks. But instead of going to the fisherman's shed, you're going to head over left to the pirate ships. And you should go up this massive dock area and you should be able to find this little sword icon above the NPC. And this is Hannah, the pirate captain. If you talk to her, you can travel to the pirate island. Alright, so this is the one of the most confusing ones to most people who ask me, how do I find Doug, the oil baron? So this one is really, really far away from the actual hub. So what you're going to do is turn left straight away. You should see this path right here. Follow this path all the way this way. When you start following this path all the way down, you should start seeing the little factory area. So just turn right here and then you should see an oil little thing right here. And he has a massive factory production going on here. It doesn't move, but you should see the oil baron right here, Doug. So you can buy the oil resource deed and you can sell your petroleum barrels and oil barrels. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you where you can find Quinn, the artist. So if you want to bid all your coins to be able to get a statue or painting to put on your island. So what you're going to do is turn right and you're going to turn left. Follow this path all the way here. Then you should see if you go following this path, you gotta go around up here and you should see this massive looking like art thing and a leaderboard over there. And you should see a little art palette above her head and you can talk to her and bid all the money you want to. So she's not open right now. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you where you can find Jay, the miner. And you might be confused where he is. So what you're going to do is walk up to the statue in front of you. Then you're going to turn left a bit a little bit and then walk all the way up to the hole slammer then go straight past him walk all the way up to the adventurer then just turn left right here and you should see a mining like pickaxe above his head then you can talk to him and you can buy your copper deans your gold deans and sell your iron ingots and copper ingots and now I'm gonna be showing you where you can find Don the maple captain so you can travel to maple island so what you're going to do is turn right here instead of turning left right here turn right and you should see these like orangey trees and you're gonna cross this bridge right here then you're going to walk all the way up to the balloon here so walk just right up to the balloon don't follow that path over there cut through the grass and you should see her right here so she should be right hanging out right here so if you cut through the grass over there you should see travel to maple island and she'll take you in that hot air balloon and for the last npc in the hub we are going to be doing Cletus. So all you're going to do is walk straight to the trophy or statue and you should go just straight around it and you should see right here a little like leaf icon and you should talk to him and you can buy and sell your crops. So Cletus is back. We have no longer zombie Cletus as well so that's quite good. And yeah that's all the NPCs in the hub so let's go on to do Pirate Island. Alright so let me show you where all of these people are. So all the NPCs 
NPCs in this island. So let's go Davy, traveling pirate. So Davy is, you're going to go straight here. So you would spawn back there. Just go walk all the way up to this little indig um section. Then you're going to turn left and then you should see right in front of this fireplace, Davy right here. And you can buy treasure maps from him, but I already have one on me, so I cannot like use it. But yeah, that's how you find Davy. All right, so now we're, we're here again in the intersection. I'm going to be showing you where you can find Evans, the Slayer Pirate. So she is right just behind this indica intersection. So when you're in the intersection, just do a sharp like right and you should see her right here. And you can buy Cry Obsidian with the boons and you can buy Obsidian Heal with the boons and you can sell all your bones for that extra cash. All right, so now we're at the indication again and I'm going to be showing you where you can find Terry. So what you're going to do is turn left and you should see him right there. So Terry is right here. You can buy the kiwi tree sapling for 80 doubloons and you can sell all your kiwis to him as well. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you where you can find Ruby. So Ruby is just, just straight right. So she's basically just right, but like a not too sharp of a right. So she is right here, the miner, and you can buy obsidian totems for 600 doubloons here. And then for the last NPC on this island, there is the fisherman pirate, a doubloon. I don't know how to say his name, but you're just going to do a sharp right, and you should see him right here in front of this house, and you can sell all your fish to him. All right, so that's it for all the pirate NPCs. So now we are going to do Desert Island. Alrighty, so we're at the Desert Island. So I'm going to be showing you where you can find Azur, uh, the Desert Nomad. So what you're going to do is when you're down there, walk straight, and then you're going to keep walking straight until you get to Ember. Then you're going to turn right, and you should see him behind this little stand right here and he has no purpose right now but that's pretty much it and that's how you find that NPC and now I'm gonna show you where you can find Ember so Ember is just straight ahead when you come from that portal and you can find her like that so you can do some like like she does pretty much nothing she just has this text and that's pretty much it and then for the last one is the Bedwars shop person Amir um, the merchant so you're gonna walk straight through Ember and then you're gonna just turn right and you should see her straight ahead right next to the desert nomad so yeah she's gonna shut up shop soon no clue when that's gonna happen but that is how you find her and now we're gonna go and move on to the maple isles all right so i'm at maple isles and this is where you spawn so when you get teleported you'll spawn there or here I i'm not sure but what we're gonna show you where to find bailey maple baker so what you're going to do is come here and then you're just gonna walk straight and turn a bit right then you should see you can buy these furnitures off her and sell all the pancakes to her so now i'm going to be showing you where to find contos the traveling merchant so what you're going to do is walk straight and then you should see this path and turn right down and then you should see him straight ahead right there and you walk up to him and you can if you beat the fan horn boss you can claim your trophy all right so now for the last one emma the berry farmer so you're going going to get on like get some chilies or anything because this one's quite a little bit far I'm just gonna use my broomstick and you're just gonna go this way turn right follow down this path right here follow my steps go all the way to this bridge right here then you're gonna go all the way through you might have to do some quests to unlock this gate right here because it's usually shut and then you're going to go right here when you're through the gates turn left and you should see a right here welcoming you and when you visit shop you can buy red raspberry seeds and you can buy a turkey eggs uh, turkey egg spawn thingy and then you can sell berry pancakes and sell all your raspberries to her okay so now i'm going to show you where all the npcs are in the void isles so what you're going to do to find larry the explorer is go straight so go straight when you spawn in and then you should see him right in front he's legit right in front when you walk straight explorer larry and then he'll give you some quest and you can sell anthemus crystals to him and you can sell Void Parallus or whatever that is. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. And now I'm going to show you where to find, uh, I don't know how to say that, like an alien creature, Boba Black, and he's called Unknown. So like, yeah, he does a bunch of quests. So what you're going to do is go straight and then you're going to go straight past the 
Larry Explorer, so turn left, and then you're gonna follow it all the way down here. You're not gonna turn right, you're gonna go straight up through this blue fog, and then you should follow all the way up here, and you should see right at the top of this, Bobalak, whatever his name is, and he speaks gibberish. So, yeah, you can do quest here as well. And yeah, that's all the NPCs in this game, guys. So, I hope this video did help you with a little section of this. So, that's all the NPCs in this whole game. I showed you all of them. So, I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell on, and I'll see you next video or live stream YouTube. And now, goodbye, YouTube.